Hello, hello, and welcome back to Reign of Terror. Uh, it has been a while, <laughs> quite a bit longer than I intended since I last played this, in fact. But, on a positive note is I do plan to continue, and we are on my new computer now. Or playing on my new computer, I should say, which, uh, uh, yes, much nicer now. Running at RTX 3090. 3090? What's the proper way that people say that? I don't keep up with things. Uh, like 3090, 3090? I, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, it's friggin' great, and yeah, so settings are all maxed out pretty much, other than depth of field, because I hate that in pretty much every game. Uh, but yeah, it should, uh, should be quite smooth, and uh, if you're curious, if you recall that was like, I had issues with the CPU right now, it's hitting 25% CPU with this all maxed out, and I'm recording at a higher bitrate and a few other settings uh, than was previously, so... Uh, yeah, shouldn't have any more trouble, shouldn't have any more stutters, and uh, yeah, it should be good. I'm, I'm definitely interested in still finishing this. Um, I just kind of got caught up with other things, and it was a bit annoying dealing with some of the stuff. I had some other issues I didn't mention. Um, but yeah, gonna get back into it. Hopefully, I uh, can figure out what the hell I was doing, and yeah, I guess first we'll uh, get our guys going. It looks like we have something to talk to Deckard about. Uh, we're up to three of each, right, if I recall? Maybe? Or was it two? No, wait, we might be only up to two uh, mages. Does it say here? Uh, do, do, do. Oh, did we get three? Oh. Oh, very good. I didn't realize we got the third. Oh, awesome. So, what were we at? What were we doing? Did we move over? Oh, we must have moved to Skeleton Mastery. Right, right. Okay, so I guess we'll probably pump all the next level into that. Yeah, that's really good, isn't it? Like, does that... Wow, that, that scaled quickly. If that keeps going up by 10 and 5, wow. Alright. Very good, very good. Um, and yeah, so I guess we are pretty much just clearing out the rest of um, Act 1 now. We've got the last three quests open. Um, I also realised... Um, yeah, I didn't... I don't remember what I said at the end of the last one. But yes, if, if I didn't mention it, which I'm pretty sure I didn't... I realized that the, uh, what was it, Tomoe Highlight, Tomoe Highlands, that is in fact the real place. I had just completely forgot about it from the first one. Uh, it was what I, I, I don't know if I'm mixing up episodes, because uh, the last one was sort of a mess, being a recap and everything. Um, but yes, I realized it was in fact in the original and I just completely forgot it existed somehow. Um, but yeah, I think that's about all there is to say. Um, yeah. I guess we'll uh, chat to Deckard and we'll head out. Um, we do have some crap in our inventory. We might want to sell a couple things quick, but uh, what's up with you, Deckard? You just uh, got anything specific to chat about? Did we talk to? I don't know if we went through these things. Oh, okay. That doesn't. Do they? Uh, that was. Re that's really not very loud, is it? Okay, might have to like bring that up, bring that down a bit, bring that down a bit, something like that. Sorry, I thought I'd adjusted it, but I forgot to check the voices. Stay a while and listen. Even that's not very loud, is it? It doesn't seem very balanced. Like, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to just keep the master up, aren't I? Put that down a tad, something like that. You gotta, you gotta be able to hear the voices properly. Stay a while and listen. I think that's a little better. Regrettably, I could do nothing to prevent the disaster which devastated Tristram. It would appear that our greatest fears have come to pass. Diablo, the Lord of Terror, has once again been set loose upon the world. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we already covered all that stuff. Stay a while. Uh, I didn't know if there was, like, something... Diablo is heading east for some foul purpose. And the only passage east is through the monastery gate. Obviously, Diablo summoned Andariel to block any pursuit. Yes, yeah, so we've definitely Stay covered that. I don't know if, uh, tools of the trade? The malice was forged and enchanted by the ancient Herodric mages during the Sin Wars. When their union dissolved, the malice was entrusted to the sisterhood, guarding the pass into the east. Hmm, okay. Well, I still want to adjust that a little more. Uh, I, I apologize. Not not a great start. Um, totally fine, though. I guess that's all we can do, though, isn't it? 
Uh, the balance just seems a little off to me. Like, I adjust things a little um, in editing when I need to. But I prefer to try and get the balance down. Stay a while and listen. I think that's fine. Alright, uh, I guess we'll check his gossip. Stay I don't know if we... That may... Did we... Long ago, the soul stones were given to the Haradrim by the Archangel Tyrael. They were used to bind the three prime evils. I now know that even these holy artifacts were no match for Diablo's power. I hope that his two brothers are more securely held. But I fear the worst. Okay, patience and deliberation. It takes time to master your skills, and use will hone your technique. But take care to choose your new skills wisely. Makes sense. Um, Roger? Have I told you about the Horadrim? They were an ancient confederation of mage clans who sought to bind the three prime evils for eternity. The Horadrim are now nearly forgotten. And it appears that the bonds they wove are unraveling. As the last of the Horodrim, I pray that I can help you remedy their failure. Well, let's help so, buddy. Hope so. <laughs> uh, I need to adjust that just a tiny bit more. This is really way off. I wasn't expecting this. Maybe like that. I got this all right last time, but yeah, the, the voice just... It's really not loud, is it? Stay a while and listen. I think that'll be a bit of a better... Bit. Yeah? Does it sound? Stay a while and listen. I still, I would like it louder. The music, honestly, it doesn't feel like it changes much. Uh, if these feel low, like I'll be able to balance it. Um, so it's, don't worry about what you're seeing. Well, I guess you're hearing it already. So Stay a while and listen. what I'm saying doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, that tower marks a place of danger. There is an epic poem about it. How much sorrow one can stand was tested there. Ah, I guess that's okay. Alright, the voice really doesn't, I don't know, just me? Just feels like it could be way louder. Uh, but I think that should be okay. Uh, I can't, uh, can't hear the music as much, I don't know. I think we should be okay. Alright, well, that was a little bit of a bumpy start, but uh, yeah, I guess we'll head out. Um, I guess we'll be going to the Forgotten Tower first up. That probably, uh, it's probably the way to go. I, okay, I need to... Uh, I apologize. I feel like... I want the music to be a little louder. Maybe I should just, like, turn the music down when we're in town or something. I don't know. This doesn't seem as balanced as it should be. Uh, I should have done that beforehand. <laughs> uh, that's fine. We're getting into it. See, that's, that's pretty loud to me. Oh, man. Yeah, I, sh I should have done... Uh, let's, let's balance those out, I think. Yeah, maybe. It's like, in my recording software, it's like hitting the red like crazy. Oh, Golem's taken a bit of a hit. Uh, is this where we actually wanted to go? Yeah, so the tower's over there. Okay. And Tomoe Highland's up there. Okay, that should be good. Uh, I'm gonna need to put those back a bit again. These need to come down here. Okay, this is the, it's the best I can do, I think. Yeah, that, that seems a bit more... Yeah. That feels like it's a bit more of a balance. Okay. I apologize for the rough start, which I think I've already said a couple times, so... I'll shut up on it, we'll go forth, and should be good. Uh, I would redo things, but it's probably, you know, I, I prefer to just keep it natural, keep it chill, and... You know, for better or worse. <laughs> probably some worse. But, we'll see how we go. Uh, I guess I'll let these guys... You know, may as well uh, let them attack these things. No point running ahead, the XP is always good. But yeah, it's good to get back to this. It's uh, it's nice to have it running so smooth. Like, I'm, I'm really glad I went for the 390. I still feel like it was, it's probably more than I need. Um, I could have went with a 380, but it was like, I hadn't built, uh, well my last computer was built six years ago, and it was already gonna be spending like, you know, quite a bit on it, so it was like, you know, why? Why hold back, you know? It's my main computer for work, um, as well as play, and now, obviously, YouTube more recently, so... Yeah, I, I didn't really see any reason to hold back. Um, so yeah, I just went for the 390, and it is pretty damn awesome. I haven't tested anything too crazy on it yet, um, 
but everything that I have open so far I've just thrown straight to the max settings without hesitation and it's been just smooth as butter so <laughs> it's pretty great uh, is this it? yes it is forgotten tower let's go uh, so yeah it's uh, it's definitely a lot better and I'm back to recording on CPU so this should be well the game's obviously in higher settings and it's gonna be recording uh, in a higher quality way at a higher bitrate so hopefully I mean it probably won't be a substantial change but it definitely should look a bit better uh, I mean you still sort of got to fight with the uh, YouTube compression that they do but you know we'll see how we go all right tower cell level one let's get some loot and kills and XP and <laughs> all that good shit so I'm still I'm still a little bit uh being wary of the sound here. I, I think it's okay though. Yeah, I, I don't know. It just feels like the voice slider should be able to go like 200% compared to where it is or something. Because, uh, like these are, right now the vo um, music and stuff's balanced like fair bit, fairly down, but they're together and I think it actually is a balance, whereas compared to the voice, not so much. Uh, oh shit, Golem's. Golem is taking a bit of a hammering. Do that and I may or may not have forgot to sell stuff before we left but that's fine um I don't know what we're actually what are we doing here like I can't remember what we actually do in the forgotten tower um let's not quests uh where is quests again it's in a yeah uh it just says explore but like what do we actually do are we getting an item here do is there a killer boss uh, oh, the Countess. Is that what it is? I can't really remember. Like, I remember the Black Tower very well. Um, or Forgotten Tower, I should call it. I keep calling it the Black Tower for some reason. Uh, maybe it's because it's in the Black Marsh. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, I certainly remember the Forgotten Tower, but I don't remember, like, the end of it. I don't remember the boss very well or anything. Hmm. Yeah, so I guess that and Tomorrow Highlands. I've got a few gaps in my, uh, Diablo memories. I mean, Tomorrow Highlands, I guess, uh understandably doesn't stand out too much since it's basically just an area before you get to the uh, catacombs and shit and the uh, courtyard and all that stuff so it doesn't have a, um, a waypoint either so not really the most standout of places in the game or nor even in the first act got those guys the buff I really do I, it, it really looks great isn't it like it's so dark and gory and I don't know I, I it's not like it looked bad before, but I don't know. Maybe the upping the graphics did help a bit. It just it just really looks good. I, I'm I'm hoping that I uh, enjoy Diablo 2 Resurrected. Like, it, it'll be really interesting comparing it to this. I mean, this is obviously not exact, but they, they've really done a great job, haven't they? I don't know if this is still being worked on, actually. Because, um... I think the 6... Yeah, what are we on? 6.3.3... 6.5.3. I think that's been out for a little while now. Oh yeah, that was a that was a whole thing. I had to uh, get this reset up, which is more of a pain than I expected it to be, because uh, Grim Dawn by default runs on uh, cloud saves, and it has like I, I don't really understand how it's set up, but it seems like it has three different save locations. I mean, once you know, you know, and it's like a simple as shit. Um, but like, you can find a saves game area in my games, like in the documents, my games default thing. Um, but there's also a saves folder in the actual Grim Dawn Steam install. Uh, except it doesn't seem to get used, but it, it looks the same, like it's just a lowercase uh, save folder, similar to that. But then also in the user data area of um, Steam, it has a save as well. Which, it seems to use that to store um, like a copy of the um, cloud one, I think. But then when you disable the cloud, which you have to do both in Steam and in the settings here, then it will use the uh, documents my games one. So there was some confusion about where I was meant to put save files and why certain things were loading. And yeah, it wasn't a huge deal. It was just sort of, yeah, <laughs> I was a bit confused for a minute. But fortunately, uh, once I got everything set up it actually worked first go there wasn't any problems with my save or anything so that was good uh, i was a little worried when i loaded and the armor didn't load on the main screen but i realized i had sort of a unique uh, like a diablo 2 item on here which doesn't actually display uh, on the grim dawn main page 
So, yeah, that was a bit of a thing, but, you know, it was all good. And Skelly's doing pretty well. I still, I really wish they were up here. Okay, uh, actually the UI scale, do we want to bump that up? It feels uh, kind of small. Uh, I feel like there was something here that we changed that I've forgotten about too. Was it that? Uh, let's throw those on for right now. Oh, actually, I don't want mine on. Um, what was I looking for? Video, right. UI scale. Okay, can we... How does that... What does it actually do? Okay, so it makes the text bigger. And everything, basically. I didn't know if, yeah, because it actually makes those. Okay. Do we want to just go, like, large? Oh, that makes that a little... A little bit much. Let's maybe go... Like there? I, I really prefer a larger UI myself. Um, okay, it makes the text a little big. I don't know, let me know if you have any issues with this. I, I think it's okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think that's fine. Okay. Let's continue mowing through enemies, I guess. Uh, how are we doing here? Sort of been uh, clearing it out. What, okay, what's going on here? Why are, th why are they doing this? Did we miss a door? Are they just trying to... Okay. I don't know what you guys are doing, but we're going to find an actual way to get around there, I think. It's probably be the smart way. I have no idea what they were doing. It must have been something about the wall that made them try and attack each other through it. Probably best to just go around, though. EXP's climbing up. It's good stuff. Man, the, uh... Yeah, I think this is going to scale up really well. Like, the next two levels... If we put them all into Skeleton Mastery, these guys are going to do some serious damage. Not to mention their health. I mean, what'll that be if we, uh, where are we at? Uh, yep. So if we put another six into that, if we're going up, yeah, we'll be at like, what, like 80% uh, damage, 40% more health? Yes, I think. Yeah, I mean, that, that really adds up fast. And that's like, just the next two levels, I'm saying, and that's going to add more to the health just from leveling up anyway. So, yeah, I think that's going to be really good. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do after that. That's just sort of, I don't remember if I'd planned anything, to be honest. Um, but yeah, so I'll probably just do the next two levels into that and then we'll see from there. I'm not really sure how I want to, like what I want to do with the golems. Um, you got the wrong thing. Cause like we got the mastery somewhere. Yeah, there. Um, but then there's the other types of golems, but I'm just not. Uh, wrong things. I'm not familiar enough to know if one of these is like a lot better because it's like it, it, it'd feel very wasteful having put points into this if we change it but obviously if one's gonna be better it's worth it. I'm just uh yeah not sure the best way to go about that. And do we miss a... it looks like there's a door there but I don't think we could open it. All right we'll go the long way around I guess and we want to clear stuff anyway so not a big deal. I did not pick that up. Whoops. Am I full? No. Okay, I just didn't pick it up for some reason. No worries there. And can we go through this way? Yes, we can. Very good. Very good. Yeah, we may have to... Okay, our inventory is more full than I realized. Uh, Alright, we may have to uh, do a quick trip shortly. Got some lovely bones. That's a large creature. Charging through. Um... Yeah, I guess we'll just, uh, we'll try and probably get this cleared out today. And then, depending on how long that takes, we will go to the monastery, I guess. Although, is it somewhere else first? Am I thinking about it? No, I think it's after here we are to the Tomorrow Highlands and then down into that whole area, so... I don't know, we'll see how we go. I don't know how many levels the this place has. And what is with this? It's kind of cool looking. Um... Yeah, I'm just trying to think, like, I was, I was trying to think there was something else, but no, I don't think there is. Uh, you know, the smart thing obviously would have been to, like, check some of my last video and figure out what we are doing and stuff, but... Yeah, I, I didn't quite think that far ahead after fiddling around with different things. And I even did, like, I, with the audio, I actually did check it, and it seemed fine actually being up, but I completely forgot about actually checking the voices, so... That was my bad. Like, cause it was loud as shit, but I had my headphones down and it looked, and it seemed balanced between, um, monsters and attacking and, uh, music, but yeah. 
That kind of got a bit messed up. No matter. A few bumps. I assume we'll, uh, we'll be playing this a while, so <laughs> it is what it is. If you returned after the, the break in the four, I'll, I'll assume you accept my uh, flaws, <laughs> as we'll call it. Okay, I think we're all good there. Okay, looks like we're actually clearing things somewhat sensibly, which is good. And we haven't had to resummon a single skeleton yet, which is uh, pretty nice, actually. I think they were, uh, I think these guys had a lot more trouble outside. I mean, not that that was any uh, trouble, but um, Golem was taken down pretty fast out there, whereas they're kind of smashing through here, actually. Hmm. Which is always nice. <laughs> oh, there's level two. Okay. Well, we probably should do a quick trip to town. Um, I'm thinking this place has like three levels, but I'm not certain on that. It's definitely more of a guess than anything. Oop, let's grab that. All right, yeah, let's just do a quick town trip. I don't think we'll have much to sell. I mean, we have a fair bit. I mean, I don't think we have much we have to worry about. We can just like dump it out. Oh, did I miss talking to you, Kara? There is no more I can tell you about that ancient tower. Oh. Okay. The well, order welcomes you. Thank you for letting me know that. <laughs> okay. And uh, what do we got? Get rid of that. We don't use bows. Gun I do not want. Do not want. Don't need that. Don't need any of those. Oh, right. I forgot we actually have... Right. We have a fair bit of inventory now, don't we? Hmm. Okay, less of an issue then. Um, no, thank you. Assume we can probably get rid of all them. Hey, what are we using? Ah, that's actually not that helpful for us, is it? Is there anything here that's useful? Not really. Like, we don't really need it, but any, like, passive stuff on it will help. And no, I think we're all good there. Yeah, that'll do it. What are you? Wow, plus 38 strength. That's, uh, that's no joke. Um, are these here for... I feel like we had a couple of things sitting around for a reason, but... You know, I think we're good. I, I don't want to spend too much time on that. Uh, so that's fine. We have plenty of inventory to dump stuff, so... Should be all good. And recording is not crapped out. So far, so good. <laughs> uh, it, it really is just so much nice, like, not having to worry about... Um, like, I mean, it's not even, like, being able to play games at max out settings is obviously really nice. But just not having to worry about, like, recording things is, is a relief, you know. Because I kept running into problems with that, as I mentioned, and it's like, now, I, I can't imagine there's very much I'm not going to be able to record quite comfortably. And I mean, in this case, I'm mean, back to on the CPU, but, um, like, if I record on the GPU, then it... It's even easier <laughs> on the system, I mean. Although, I don't know how well that stacks up against, like, if I was doing a really intensive game. Hmm. I'm not really sure on that, actually. Hmm. I mean, I ideally I'll be sticking with CPU, so I probably won't find out. Uh, I mean, I think the hardware thing was actually fine, but apparently it is lesser quality. Um, I didn't notice a big difference, but... Yeah. Although, this is, um... I mean, you probably don't give a shit about a lot of this recording stuff, but for whatever it's worth, um, the, uh, like, you can set the recording speed that your CPU works on, so it's, like, the slower the speed, uh, the more CPU usage. Um, oh, hello. Maybe the boss is down here. That is actually familiar, some crazy fire stuff. Um, I was like, yeah, so I'm recording it slower than previously, um, which should improve the quality, like, um... I think that, uh, although there's bitrate as well, which is important, um, recording it slower, I don't know how, how to best phrase that, but yes, it is a slower option. Um, I think that means like less chance for artifacting and shit, so hopefully this actually does look a bit better. And I should probably wait until that's cleared out. Okay, now we've taken some damage. Go, go, skellies. Although they're doing pretty well. And almost got a level too, very nice. Oh, we were dealing with a hero. Okay. Okay. Didn't realize that. Good to know. And yes, very close to level up. Very good. All right. Good job, guys. Good job. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I have anything more to ramble on about the recording related stuff, but uh, 
if you're curious. Not that I was, uh, not that I elaborated too well on that. But nonetheless, if it doesn't look like shit, or it looks better, I'll take it. <laughs> uh, but ideally it looked better. I mean, it, it sucks that you have to deal with the compression on YouTube, because uh, I, I find that especially, like, for darker games, uh, I mean, hopefully these settings will overcome that. But I know, like, especially for me, like, I hate when, like, I find, um, like, a new person I want to watch on YouTube, like, let's play type of thing. And I find that, you know, they've been doing YouTube a while, but, like, you go back a couple years and, like, all of their stuff is either, like, 720p60 or 1080p30. And you, you go to, like, a dark game. Like, I know this is very specific, but I don't know if you've run into it. And you go to, like, a dark game and it's just artifacts everywhere and it's like, oh my god. And after you've watched like some really high quality shit, yeah, it's so much more noticeable. I think it's like how, you know, we used to all watch like DVD quality stuff and it was great. You know, you had a nice TV, you didn't think twice, it looked great. Yet now after experiencing like constant like, you know, 1080p or higher, just being normal for streaming services, you go ahead and watch something that's 480p and it looks like dog shit. You can get used to it again, like it's, it's sort of a weird thing that. Hmm. Yeah, maybe some of that's just me. <laughs> uh, I feel like in Diablo 2 there was a lot more fire. Like this was larger and... I don't know if I'm thinking of a different area. But... Doesn't matter, still pretty cool. Oop, Mr. Skeleton. Come on... Oh shit, we got a level. Uh, I was say, we'll clear, clear down here and we'll head down to number 3. Which uh, I assume is going to be where the boss is. Uh, we, there could be a fourth, but I... I don't think anywhere in the first act had... Uh, a fourth. Uh, I mean, I guess the catacombs sort of do, but the name changes. And we cannot go into there, so I'll stop trying. Um, Alright, let's uh, get over this way. Is this? Yes, yes, yes. Because you can't quite tell on the map very well where some of the doors are. They sort of just... Yeah. I think that's uh, one of the reasons I said, too, like about I, I prefer those hard lines from the original Diablo 2, like the more simpler map. Uh, but anyway, let's... Uh, well, let's just go in until I decide something else. <laughs> I think we probably will move over into some, like, dexterity or something. Um, I don't know. I'm still a bit mixed on that. Just, just with our specific build. And let's bump that up. Very good. So how are we doing now? Uh, like, if I resummon you... Oh, yeah, so they're at the 1-1 now. And what was it before? Or can I not see? Wait, he has 1,200. Oh, wait, was that a different... No, wait, what? Why do you have 1,200? That's... Okay, well, I just destroyed the 1,200 one, apparently, but I'm, I'm a bit confused. Do you have any idea? Seriously, like, what? How? Uh... I don't... I do not understand how that just had 1,200 health. Like, they don't have any sort of buff or anything, right? That was strange. That was really strange. Okay, what about you guys? Did you... Okay, you went up a little. Um, I, I don't know. I don't really understand what just happened. No matter. It's fine. Let's just uh, let's go down here. And... Oh, I heard a thing. Yep, okay. Countess is down here. Alright, I don't know how this is going to go. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Come on. Come on! Oi! What are you doing? You, you just... You abandoning us? Oh wait, what? Oh, she teleported, okay. Alright, did I... I have to resummon... Uh, do we need to resummon all of you, I think? Okay, you did not gain much at all. What about you? As you command. Oh yeah, you got an awesome boost. Wow. <laughs> the corpse of Golem, I'm sorry. Uh, um... Alright, I think we're good. I don't think there's anything... I guess we'll just keep creeping this up. Um, I assume we'll be fine. I don't have too much of a concern. Um, but we will see how we go. I really can't remember the Countess very well. Like, it does sound familiar in there. I just I can't re quite remember what she does. Uh, wow, alright. Bit of a crap storm of enemies. I... oh shit. I need to run. I got myself way too caught up there. That was not good. Uh, yeah. Oh, we are losing skeletons like mad. And that. 
Run this way. Awkwardly summon. Oh, Golem, you're down as well. Okay. Not doing too well. Uh, summon. Come on, Golem, I could use you. Yes, good. Skeletons, and I just healed myself unnecessarily. That's fine. It's really loud in my ears right now. <laughs> uh, oop. Go that. I'm gonna keep circling. I'm stuck. Drink up, please. Let's go this way. Holy shit, I just got smacked real hard. How are we doing on skeletons? Let's get a mage up. Keep running. See, this is the thing that bothers me about them being down there. And, like, if I was a smaller monitor, maybe it wouldn't matter as much. Um, but I'm finding, like, I'm trying to concentrate where I'm running, and I have to, like, change my viewing to look down there. I can't just, like, I can't see those numbers peripherally, you know? Whereas it's a bit easier to see, like, their health up here peripherally, so... Yeah, it's a little awkward. Uh, but we're doing fine for the most part. Yeah, that's why I like the bigger UI, but, I don't know, these... I feel like it would just be so much better if they were here. I know I've said it before, but... I really think it would be a lot better. I'm be curious if they... How that kind of stuff set up in uh, Jebel Resurrected, like if they're gonna shift around any of those kind of things or change how any of it's set up or anything. Because I mean, I know they're being super faithful for the most part, so I don't know if they're gonna do any changes to the UI like that. Oh wait. Oh, do we <laughs> I thought we were fighting the Countess. I thought the the Starhead one was the Countess. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Apparently not. Fair enough. Uh, I guess we'll go look for her then. My mistake. Guess that was a bit assumptive. Although, hopefully we cleared out a bunch of stuff then. Oh yeah, okay, well this is a pretty big area apparently. Alright, I'll, uh, I'm happy to take the XP. Doesn't look like the Countess is in this section, so... Let them do their thing. Yeah, I guess that was the, uh... I don't know, the right hand... of, uh, the Countess. Don't know. I guess there wasn't... Yeah, no, I just made the assumption because of the star above its head. I guess, yeah, it was just a normal boss one then. Okay. That's all good. Let's, uh, creep along. Uh, I don't know, we should probably drop a portal. I don't really know if she's just going to be, like, out in the open in one of these, or if it's going to be a door, or... We should probably be a little bit careful, considering we, uh, we did get a little messy there. <laughs> Keep going, guys. March through. Okay, that that turns off. That's a bit more suspicious. Uh, not too sure about that. I think let's... Oh, no, they both go that way, so maybe it actually heads down. All right, let's check this one. And looks safe enough, maybe. Kind of large. Ah, I think we're all good. Okay, no Countess. Let's get some stuff, some loot, while our guys do the heavy lifting. Appreciate it. Yeah, some of this stuff looks really good. I don't know if that's just in, yeah, maybe the graphics did help. Like, it, just in the Rogan camp, and I didn't notice a big change when I shifted the graphics, but... Yeah, some of these things, they really, they really do look good. Alright, all clear there, good stuff. We are, we're still getting XP pretty fast, don't we? It, uh, it'd be curious to actually do a mix class. I don't think I'm plan. I don't think I will, but... You know, the idea of doing, like, um, a demolition... Uh, Necromancer, for example, would be kind of fun. Yeah, they, I really, uh, I really enjoyed some of Grim Dawn's classes. I guess they have a Necromancer too, which I never played for some reason. I don't know if, uh, I think, uh, every time I played, I, I went some, like, combination, like, Demolitionist or Demolition Occultist. Uh, I think Inquisitor once. I started it several times, so I never actually finished the whole game. That's, uh, Definitely something I should do. I really quite enjoyed it. Uh, can we not go through? Oh, okay. I assume we have to wrap all the way around then. Alright. That's fine. Fine, just fine. Get any good stuff? So we should probably check that after. Not really anything too fancy. Grab you. Chuck a portal, just in case. Oh, you got a... Someone got speared. <laughs> Very good. Rip and tear, rip and tear. Good. 
Yeah, they're doing pretty well. Like, even these guys are getting towards a thousand health now. Uh, oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Uh, crap. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, yeah. Hello. How you doing? Oh, okay. I wasn't crazy to make that assumption. I mean, yes, that's the correct star there, but it doesn't look that different. She had a star. So, I at least understand why I made the mistake. That's something. Okay, got to keep skeletons up. Oop, okay. It was two. Okay, they're getting hammered. Oh shit, oh shit. I'm stuck. I am not... Okay, that's not good. I do not need to be taking that kind of damage. Oh my. Oh, the countess is nearly down though. Why are you chasing me? I'm friendly. Sort of. I mean, I'm raiding your base and slaughtering, but you know. I'm still nice. Sometimes. Go, 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 guys. Come on. Smack them. There we go. Oh, we got a devotion point. 5,000 gold. Oh, and an inventory expansion. Damn. They're, they're a little bit generous on the inventory. Not that I mind, but... Wow. Like, seriously, we got like... Yeah, like, look at this shit. It's crazy. And a lot of loot. Oh, we've got some runes. Very cool. Very cool. Grab that. Grab that. And that. And that. Very good. That, uh... Probably piled up a bit of shit. Yeah, I think when... Uh, do we find any runes? I think they're the first ones. Uh... Got an S and an L. Very good, very good. Alright. And we've got some scrap that we probably will never need, but I can't help but wonder still. But the fact that they have it in the game, you know, makes me wonder. Oh, is that... I thought that was molten gold, but no, it's just shining. That's still cool. That's still cool. Um, anything else going on here? Is that... What is that? Uh, questionable stuff. Oh, what? For the Black Marsh, from here? Really? Hmm, okay. Oh, that must be that other, uh, the entrance that we couldn't, it looked like an entrance, but you couldn't actually go down it. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. Uh, I guess we'll just clear out here, we can head out. Uh, any other loot around? Couple things. Oh, skeletons, how you doing? Oh shit, what the fuck? God damn it. Ah, fucking NordVPN, man. I, I really hate that shit. I, I'm gonna be happy when I change over. It's, uh, it's still got a few months, I think. But god damn, I, ha I hate it. It's gotten so bad over time. Their service has just dropped a ton. And right there, and what, pissed me off a little bit. <laughs> More than it should have, to be fair. Uh, is the fact that it popping up just on, like, its thing, um, what does it say? Like, you know, update time, and it's got, you know, blah blah is available, and it, you know, pops up over the software. Even though it's not connected right now, and like, the back Nord's open, it'll pop that up enough to, you know, close over uh, Grim Dawn and bring me all the way back to the desktop. It's like, how, how is that something anybody wants? Like, you know, why would you have it, like, you have it pop up on the software, fair enough, but, you know, why would you set it in such a way that it actually takes uh, priority? Like, that's... You know, I, I can't understand that. Nobody who has, like, a, a application open is going to want that to happen, you know? <laughs> I mean, you know, very, very, very specific case where someone would be really just waiting for that update sort of thing. Uh, I mean, it didn't, like I said, it pissed me off a little because it's more of a, it's a compounding thing with Nord. It's, um, the service was pretty decent when I got it. Um, but they just went kind of crazy with their marketing, paying any YouTuber that would be willing to push NordVPN. And I'm pretty sure what that, ha what happened with that is that they expanded too much because of that. And their service quality just dropped, like, just, yeah. I don't know, maybe you've had good experiences with them, but mine has just been downhill for a long time. And not just, like, dumb shit like that, but, like, how it seems to just completely shit itself. Um, where are we going? Let's go back to town. Um, like Nord just seems to completely shit itself uh, if you try and use it with Steam. I don't know why, I don't know if it's just me, but anytime I'm using it with Steam, it just craps out. Like, if it's just working with Steam, it's fine, it'll do its downloading if I'm downloading something. Um, but like, it'll crap out the rest of it, like my browser and stuff just won't function properly. And it's Steam too. like I can download at the same speed or higher in other things with it. And everything else works normal. With Steam, it just craps out. That's, that's really the best way I could put it. But, uh, okay, NordVPN rant aside, 
Although, actually, if you happen to be listening to me rant about it and you have any suggestions, let me know, because I'm, I'm looking for a new VPN and I really don't know what to try. Uh, ExpressVPN seems to be the new NordVPN in terms of, like, uh, people promoting it. Um, but I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Uh, part of me thinks it's a good thing, or at least a good sign that it's been a while. Like, I've been seeing ExpressVPN for quite a while, so it's not even really new in that regard. I mean, I don't mean new by the service, just the fact that it was like YouTubers were just promoting NordVPN like crazy, and now it seems to be all ExpressVPN. Did you have anything Stay to say? Wild. No? No. Well done, my friend. Courage and opportunity together have created in you a kind of alchemy. Thank you, I think. Um, but yeah, I was just meaning to say, um, it seems like uh, ExpressVPN's lasted quite a while, though. Like, they're continuing to promote. So I assume they're able to handle the expansion they're getting from it. I mean, yeah, ExpressVPN. Uh, so I am curious about them, but I don't actually know their quality. But if you have any suggestions for other services, let me know. I thought the stories of treasure in the tower were nothing but lies. I am glad you found something of value in that death trap. Would that our sisters had been so fortunate. I don't actually know what I found. Did I... whoops. What is that? Okay, I don't know what I... oh shit. I pressed something on the keyboard that kept pulling me back. I don't know what it was. Uh, oh, we got some fancy boots, but I don't know if she was referring to something specific. Did I get a key item that I'm overlooking? Certainly possible. Uh, what about these though? What are they? Um, oh, movement speed is nice. Uh, oh, granted skills. Flame patch. 100% chance when hit. You ignite the ground when you... S oh, that's cool. Hmm. Oh, we can't even... Yeah, that's level 14. We can't even wear them anyway. But yeah, we the 6% intelligence is really nice, but we've got... Although, 50 plus armor from these is... Yeah, that, that could be worth it. Okay, we have plenty of room, so I'm not even going to worry about this right now. Um, anyone else want to have a chat? How you doing, Charcy? Anything to say about the Forgotten Great. Tower? Those riches will serve you well on the long road ahead. Indeed. They, uh, they may just do. What about you, Geed, you... person? <laughs> Good day. Uh... Warreave's advice is like corpse gas. It befouls the air for a moment, and then it disappears. Uh, sure. Why not? That's, uh, yeah. That's Geed. Very helpful. Hello. Your rewards are well earned. To us, the tower was nothing more than a headstone looming over a long-forgotten grave. I see. Alright, well, it doesn't really seem like they care much. They're just uh, commenting on my treasure, apparently. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's go to the Black Marsh, and I guess we're up to the Tomoe Highlands. Uh, yes, I believe so, at least. Yeah, that should... Uh... Alright, I can just check on the map. That's not... Okay, it's fine. Uh, yeah, that should get us to the Outer Cloister one, right? I'm pretty sure. Like, I think the Tomoe Highland is just a little patch, and then it's the uh, outer cloister and all that. Ah, uh, yeah, you guys may as well do your thing. Be good if we get another level. Ah, uh, probably can. Maybe. Maybe. I guess we are. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I'm, I'm not too sure yet. I don't know how long this will be yet. Probably not too much longer. I mean, we'll try and do a bit more. I don't know how long I've been recording for. Looks like about 45 minutes, so not too bad. I'm just, uh, you know, it's good to get back into this. I'm still a little, uh, you know, getting used to it again and stuff. So I think it's been... I don't know when I... I don't know how long it's been since the last one I said. It's, it's been longer than I intended. So if you are uh, watching this um, after having watched the others, I really do appreciate you sticking with me on it. Because, uh, yeah, it wasn't great. Um, I mean, the, the amount of time I waited. It wasn't intended, but, you know. It's uh, still not ideal. But I'm going to try and pick up the pace on this one, sort of, uh, I'm not really sure what I'm doing with my schedule right now, um, but I'm probably going to at least try and make this along with Gene Forge, like an every other day thing. Um, like I'll still probably, do, uh, well I will be doing other stuff sort of randomly, but I'm thinking I'm going to for now try and like alternate um, one, one Reign of Terror, one uh, Gene Forge, something like that, um, every other day. I'm not 100% sure yet. 
I, th I think that would probably be good though. Like, I, I want to try and improve my consistency more than anything else. And obviously I just want to play this, you know, it's fun. It's interesting building our army, you know. Seeing, uh, like, I'm especially curious about, like, how they've done, like, this area, like, it all looks great. But I'm really, really curious to see, um, especially the fourth act, like, um, I think that'll be really interesting to see how they've done that. Oop, that's a interesting view there. And, oh, actually, I'm interested to see this. Like, the Outer Cloister is actually some, um, a lot more vivid in my memory for whatever reason. Probably because it's sort of like the beginning of the end, so to speak, for Act 1. Like, it's sort of, you know, just sent into hell after that for a little while. Until you get down to Andariel and her, uh, let, let's say, interesting fashion choices. <laughs> I wonder, yeah, I wonder if they're going to, uh, if she'll be half naked in this one. Hmm. I guess we'll see. It'll be a nice surprise. Let's, let's call it that. <laughs> Why not? So, I guess we're heading up a bit more. I don't believe the... Yeah, the outer cloister was just... Yeah. I remember the outside and you go into it and it's like, you know, splits off and that. So this feels a little different, but good so far. Although, okay, I thought we were entering into that and it was different. No, we're just at Tomoe Highland. This is, as I said, I don't remember the Tomoe Highland other than when I did sort of remember that it was just that sort of bit that connected the two. Um, yeah, this will, uh... What is that? I do not know what that would be. Oh, to the pit. What? Haven't we already been to the pit? Uh, am I mixing it up with something? I could have swore we'd already been to the pit. Unless there's something else with a simple name we've been to? Uh, I guess we'll check it in a second. Okay, so we're already actually, in fact, the Tomoe Highland is apparently bigger than I recalled. I I thought it was more just like a, a short sort of area before the uh, outer cloister. That's fine. I don't know, these bridges, that, that doesn't feel familiar. The courtyard's really what's sort of in my mind, which is, it is actually kind of odd that the uh, courtyard would be rather vivid in my mind from Diablo 2, yet Tomoe Highland didn't exist for a while there. <laughs> it's kind of strange. Oop, it's, oh. It's like, what the hell is that on the ground? But it's the uh, shadows. I don't know if we could see them or I hadn't noticed them. Ah, uh, like with the lower graphic settings. Because I know I had the shadows down last time. Hmm, interesting. And this I am very curious about. I don't know what the hell's going on there. It almost looks like... I don't know. Maybe it's a secret area in some fashion, like you can only get there through something else, or... I'm really not sure. Hmm. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really curious to see what Endaro looks like. I don't know how long it's going to take us to get down there. Like, Diablo is something that I played a lot of when I was a kid, but I feel like everything game-wise seemed to take longer back then. Because there's some games, like, that I played back then, like, I, I think there's especially games like Crash Bandicoot, where, like, if you wanted to, you can sit down and, like, play it in one long session. Like, it's, it's really not a long game if you just sit down and play through. Yet, like, it, it's a huge part of my childhood that, like, spanned a long time. So, I don't quite know how that worked, but... Yeah. <laughs> So, I'm, I don't really have a good sense of time for the catacombs and that. So, uh, we may finish Act 1, like, in a couple parts. Could be... Yeah, I'm, I'm really not sure. But for now, let's check the pit, because I'm... confused. Oh, uh, maybe the pit's a generic term? Not, like, a specific place? Like, it's another one of those little areas? Maybe? You, uh... Oh. I had to click two. Uh, had to. Yeah, I keep forgetting that if you actually click it like that, you have to select where rather than if you use the um, number keys. It just summons where your uh, mouse is. Probably a good thing to remember. Yeah, this seems well. I'm not too sure yet. Um, it is XP though, so either way, that's fine. And yeah, we're nicely over the half way mark, so I think we'll actually be able to get uh, another level. That'd be nice. Because skeletons are doing really well, like... 
I mean, relatively speaking, at least, we haven't had to actually summon them much, like, obviously with the boss, so there's that, but in general, they've been doing really well on the normal stuff. Actually, yeah, they're, they're, they're catching up to Golem, aren't they? Which is, uh, I feel like he's meant to be a lot tankier. Because <laughs> his health, like, it's decent, but I feel like they should have probably given him a buff, like... Well, I mean, we've put a bit in the Skeleton Mastery, but... I just feel like, you know, she's got 3100 health, which is kind of crazy. It's like, three times our health, which... Our health's a bit of a joke at the moment. Which is like, and when we're at that boss, like, when we actually take damage, we get hammered, which is... One of the reasons I am slightly leaning towards, like, Dexterity or Strength, if that'll help at all. So we, I mean, hopefully it'll be that we can rely on these guys, um... But we also want to be able to, you know, take a hit if we need to, I figure. So, I don't know. And, yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on with this pit area. Uh, okay, it's not as small as I thought it may be. Yeah, I guess it's... I don't know. Uh, it's not that familiar to me. It's, um, like, I don't know if it's normally the Tomoe Highlands or... I will say, there is quite a lot of enemies. I'm, like, rushing by because I thought it was just this, like... I thought that was going to wrap around, but... Oh, wait, does it? Oh, yeah, no, it does. Okay. But, yeah, it's, uh... There's quite a lot of enemies here, actually. We may actually be able to get the level down here, which would be kind of crazy. Hmm, alright. Let's, uh... So we do. Grab a chest. Hello. Very good, very good. And... Yeah, taking a bit of damage, but they're doing alright. Hmm, not bad, not bad. Yeah, look at that weird, the XP's pouring in. Definitely worth coming down here, I'd have to say. Oh, and I mean, this is pit level 1, which at least somewhat implies is level 2. So this, uh, this might actually be a lot larger than I was thinking. Like, by several magnitudes. Yeah, it's like, man, look at them, they're just lining up. Yeah, we're gonna get, yeah, like, guaranteed we'll have our level down here, which will be in the Skeleton Mastery, and they'll be blasting even more, so... Yeah, well worth coming down here, I think. Definitely. And recording, not crapping out. 20% CPU, very good, very good. I mean, I think that's pretty good, like... Um... Yeah, it's, uh... No, it's hitting 30, but still, it's, uh, it's not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, we've had no stutters or anything that I'm aware of. Uh, I can't actually see my FPS. I forgot to re-enable that in Steam, but it's, uh, it feels damn smooth, so I'm not too worried. But it's also nice the fact that I can see the recording, because that was the thing. I couldn't use two monitors very well when the recording. Um, and that was partly, like, uh, the graphic... I mean, that was partly a power issue, but it was also more Windows 7, um, which really doesn't work as well with that type of setup. Um, but yeah, I mean, I hate Windows 10, like, god damn, I hate Windows 10. But it does work better in at least a few areas. What this uh, multi-monitors being one of them. So it's nice actually being able to see my recording off on the side and know that things haven't frozen and, you know, if something's crapping out, I can see it immediately and stuff like that. It's, uh, it, it's really a relief, honestly. Like, it's, there's like a small anxiety you can't help. I feel like, well, maybe it's just me. But when you're recording and you can't see any sort of preview, it's like a little bit unnerving. You just, you know, something goes wrong and you keep recording, like, you know, especially when I often do videos that go into like an hour or more at times. It's, uh, yeah, so it's, uh, it's quite nice being able to see that. And obviously, like, there's little things too, like I can just see the CPU usage and, you know, stuff like that. So it's, um, it's good for if I want to test things and, try it out before actually uh, recording and stuff, makes it a lot easier. Man, this is a... Uh, yeah, it's, I'm guessing it's going to be a big square or something? And, oh shit, we, we already got a level and I did not realise. God, that's what Ramblin' does. Alright, I think, yeah, just straight into this, right? Alright, so they... what are they sitting at right now? Alright, so 1174, right? Wait, do you have... Okay, here's 1,200 again. One of them. I don't understand why. Like, these don't impact that. I, I don't get that. Hmm. 
Uh, but what I wanted to see, do this, if I do that, are they going to go up? Okay, they go up without having to actually um, reset them. Okay. Let's do that. So, you're at 1300, but I need to reset them as far as I know to get the bonus to health from us uh, leveling up. So, that was the wrong button. Okay, yeah, so, yeah, not bad. I mean, they've surpassed Golem, which I'm forgetting to summon. Oh no, wow, what? Uh, what? Golem was at like 1300. Uh, okay. Don't really know how to, what? <laughs> As you what about command. you? Yeah, you're just, you're powering up like mad, but Golem, what? I don't understand why he went up that much. Did I misread something? Uh, I mean, I'll take it. Like, that's cool. <laughs> Just a little surprising. Man, at the rate we're getting EXP down here, like, we might even get, like, another half a level before we're done. It's crazy. Especially if there is another level, which... I don't know. Not too sure. I mean, I assume level 1... You know, it, it's, it somewhat implies there's level 2. Otherwise, I assume it would just be called the pit, but I don't know if it's actually set up that way in Grim Dawn or not, you know? So I can't be certain, at least. But we'll see. It's, uh, I said, like, look at that. Like, uh, it's really, really good XP. Like, if you wanted to farm a couple levels, this would probably be where to do it, wouldn't it? Uh, like, at, at this level. And yes, there is a pit level too, so yeah. That's, that's definitely more XP. Man, at this rate, like honestly, if the pit level 2 is like similar and we have this, we might honestly be able to get nearly another level. I don't know if I'm stretching that, but it, it seems like it's it's not out of the realm of possibilities. There's just so many of them in here, it's crazy. I mean, it's really good though, <laughs> like, we're just mowing through them. Uh, and I guess, yeah, that already sort of covered what I'd planned ahead for. Uh, I'm not even going to spend that right now, actually. I don't know what I want to do. Um, yeah, I don't know what we'll, uh, I mean, we could just do more into this. Like, I feel like this group's a pretty good size right now. Um, but we could also start working towards a new golem. Hmm. I'm really not sure what's best. Um, I don't know, we, we may do one more level, uh, into Skeleton Mastery. Like, I think either way that pays off sort of thing, like... Because the more we put into that, then when we upgrade the skeletons and just get a new, uh, get a fourth or whatever, it's got all the power that we've put in the mastery, so... I definitely don't think, um, no matter how much we put in the mastery right now, it's not going to be a waste sort of thing. So we may do that, especially considering Golem's apparently decided to just jump his health up like crazy, which uh, is pretty nice. Check that, nothing much. Yeah, this is an unexpected surprise, this area. <laughs> Or at least the amount of mobs, like... Oh, hello! I'm gonna step back a second. I assume you guys can handle that. I trust ya. I'll, uh, watch these numbers and chill back here with my shield buff. Very good. We're actually doing really well. Wow. Wow, yeah. What the hell? They just, they didn't... <laughs> wow, alright. Didn't have to resummon even one of them. That's really good. Like, their health is getting pretty crazy. Although, the, the crazier their health gets, the worse mine looks. I haven't even broken 11, 1100. Whereas these guys are like... Well, I, I guess I'm ahead of the, the, the mages. That's something. Man, look at them. They're just... They're, it's just endless. It's crazy. I really... Like... Imagine if this is level 3. Like, yeah, you could really... If you want to just exit the game and come back over and over... You could get a few levels in no time here if you really needed it. Although I suppose it's going to be pretty much uh, just a smash fest of um, stuff to kill when we go into the catacombs. Or even just at the... Well, no, the top... Yeah, no, the closer didn't have that much. You've got those side areas and that. Um, do we... I don't know if I mi Can we go into there at all, or...? I'm not sure if I missed something there. Um... Oh, right, Devotion too, that's also a thing. keep forgetting about that. Because um, we've probably got a handful of Devotion points, don't we? 
Uh, what do we got? Oh, four. Okay, that's actually not that much. Um, but I was thinking, like, we may want to... Unless there's something specifically that's going to help in us, like, summoning related. Um, we may want to lean our devotion towards, like, health and defense. Um, like, I think that might actually be worth it. Oh, this is fancy. Okay. And that's this area cleared, I think. Very good. Alright, let's uh, awkwardly get up here. How are you guys doing? Alright, still all there. You're a bit short on health, but that's fine. Let's head down. Yeah, we're... <laughs> yeah, like, that's not bad, is it? Let's see how we do down here. I assume it's probably gonna... It might be a small area, actually, down here. I assume it's either gonna be similar, or it might just be a small one. Like, with a... Devotion thing, maybe, or a chest or something. Boss. Not too sure. Can I grab that, please? Thank you. Summon. Yeah, we're, like, already halfway. Crazy. So good, though. Oh, we got a rune. Very nice. And shrine that I... Don't know what it was, but sure, why not? Yeah, I didn't even get a buff. Did I just hurt myself? <laughs> Probably. Uh, oh, okay. Kind of a weird area. Let's head this way. Is this just smaller or is it similar? Oh, it might be the same. Like another big, like, sort of square thingy. Maybe. Well, there's plenty of shit to kill, that's for sure. What's that? Oh, okay. Hadn't really been... Yeah, so they're debuffs, right? Okay. Yeah, that's another... I, I don't know. I, I feel very mixed about the idea of anything along here. It's just not... I don't know. I feel like it was playing, like, on a 20-inch like, monitor or something. It'd probably feel better. But, yeah. Not, not great on 27. At least for me. I don't know. It could just be me. <laughs> I, I accept that possibility. And Golem, my boy. You're not doing too well. Oh, hello, green. Very good. Loving our inventory. Like, we're just picking up so much shit, but it hasn't been a problem at all. That was like... I, I think that's definitely something I would like in Diablo 2 Resurrected. Like, a larger inventory. I mean, it's sort of a part of it. And there's definitely a lot of some nostalgia to it. But man, I felt like I was just going back to town constantly. And it's even, I mean, I guess it's convenient this, because you don't have to have town portal scrolls. Although I kind of miss having the uh, red and blue tomes uh, in my inventory, <laughs> even though they took up space. So, it's a little nostalgia points. And in this, you can't even use Deckard Cane to uh, identify stuff. I guess it makes sense, like, they didn't add the identify mechanic, but, yeah, there's some, uh, there's some nostalgia there, and it's sort of, it was Deckard Cane's role, you know? Yeah, yeah, it does look like this is a lot smaller area. Okay. Uh, and a creepy area, apparently. What is this? What is this? Oh, uh, I don't like the look of this. Oh, Golem, come on, guy. You're really not doing too well, buddy. Oh, no, it's chests. Okay. I thought this was going to lead to, like, one of those crazy bosses that we can't even remotely kill. Oh, it may. Wait, is there... Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's a couple. Okay. Grab those. Assume it's just the three, right? So why can I do this? What is it? Where, where are you leading me? Oh, I don't trust this at all. I do not trust this at all. Okay, I am going to put a portal. I'm going to put my finger on one. Oh, yeah. What kind of beast do we have here? Holy shit. That looks awesome. And you're also level 18. And we're going to go now. Uh, well, yeah, just like, yeah, no, we've got to go. I wanted to show you a little, but no. Uh, after the experience with the last one, which I don't think you ended up getting to see, I showed you the guy. I don't know if you saw me getting hit, but yeah, the, those level 18 can, like, drop my health, like, in one hit almost. It's, um, yeah, I hate running away from the fight, but that's just, yeah, we're going to have to come back. There's going to be a few things like that. I think we'll, we'll try once we beat Andario. Um, but yeah, it, it's just not going to happen, um, right now. It's not even one of them ones where it's worth trying. Like, it's just, they do such absurd damage. Um, I mean, we are level 14, but yeah, I, I think we'll do like, um, I think that, that could be a fun one to do. Like, um, 
if there's like a handful of those in act one um we can be an endario and then we can like do um an episode that's just dedicated to the bosses or something because that's at least that's the third one i know of um although one of them i couldn't figure out how to actually get to um which was in was it in the black marsh or was it oh it was in there yeah i couldn't actually figure out how to get in there but there was another one of them in there so there's at least three i'm aware of um but I assume there could be at least another one. Um, so that'll, uh, that could be quite interesting, actually. I mean, we should be at about more reasonable level. I don't know, like, I said, we almost did actually get another level in there. So, yeah, I mean, we, I don't know. We probably could be, end up around 18 by the time we beat Andario. I don't know how uh, packed with monsters the catacombs and that are. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Either way, uh, after Andara, we'll try it. I'm just trying to, for whatever reason, think well, like what potential, uh, what level we may potentially be. But yeah, considering this, I could see us getting uh, probably around the same level. Because I think it would be, I know, I don't want to just, you know, level, because obviously we could ignore them, you know, to way later and then just go and smash them. But, you know, that's not really as interesting as it, you know. I, I want it to be a f reasonable fight, a uh, fair fight, just not, um, not right now. <laughs> Is, this would not be reasonable. But as you know, as long as we're at least level like 17 or something, I think that's more than fine. Of which I, I think we're guaranteed to hit. Like, this is, that just, yeah. As I said, that the pits, um, those two levels, really not a bad way to go about uh, getting a few levels if you wanted to. Uh, I assume that the outer cloister is not far from here, right? I mean, I'm pretty much just like, uh, I'm assuming that the Tomorrow Highland isn't very big because of how little I remember of it. Um, but that doesn't, you know, the logic in that breaks down pretty quickly. <laughs> Nonetheless, we will march on. I assume it's just up here though. I don't imagine this is too much larger. Hopefully we'll see the big, uh, I assume like, yeah, walls, I guess. I can remember the inside better than I remember the outside. I assume... Oh, okay, that's kind of fancy. And got some fire dudes. Yeah, I assume that is the start of the... Uh, oh, can we destroy that? You want to help? No? Okay. Apparently my guys don't consider it to be an enemy. Let's just get the map revealed. Good, good. Grab these. Some rations. Very good. Oop, missing a skeleton. And you can come back. Yeah, Golem, I mean, I guess he's tanking stuff, so, you know. But it seems like he, he should not be dying more than skeletons, I feel like. Uh, I suppose if he's up, well, yeah, no. Still seems a little odd. Nonetheless, it's all good. It's just, uh, it can be awkward in, like, I guess the boss ones, because he has a longer cooldown. Although, I think, it's, is it dropping, actually? Does that drop? I don't know if that, uh... Hmm. Yeah, anyway. Hello, Outer Cloister. How do you look? Are you going to, uh, ignite my memory? <laughs> yeah, those are some words. Oh yeah, this looks, uh, this looks good. Definitely a lot darker, that's for sure. And I'm pretty sure there should be some grass. Right? Is my memory failing me? I feel like there was grass. No? It's like it feels right except I thought there was brass. Or maybe it's in the center bit. Um, where the waypoint is that I'm thinking of. That would make sense. Yes? Uh, let's, uh, yeah, I guess we'll clear out. Because I would like to hit that another level. Like, we're so close. Be a little uh, disappointing not to get it. Grab those. Grab those. Plenty of loot. Not a lot of monsters. It's fine. I'm happy with loot. Oh, that was weird. Like, see inside it? Oh, yeah, that's weird. Hmm. Okay. Oh, missed some gloves. Thank you very much. And... Hello. I'll let you deal with them. And I'll be speedy. And... Oh, yes, grass. There we go. That's what I was thinking of. Ah, uh, memory ignited, as I put it. Okay, I don't actually don't remember any statue, but yes, this this feels a lot more familiar. Let's light you up. 
Very good. Outer Cloister. Yes, yeah, so we've got the jail, we've got the inner cloister, and then we're into the catacombs. Yeah, it is quite a descent down. So, uh, yeah, I imagine we'll get a few levels off that. And, right, the barracks is with, oh shit. I can't remember quite if the barracks is on this level. Like, I, I feel like it's like up here, if I remember correctly. Like, it's right at the end. If I'm, um, I think. Because then we get the uh, Roderick Hammer, right? I think. Or is it just, is it not, no, it's not, is it not Roderick? No, it's just some fancy hammer, right? Hmm, I'm piecing together memories slowly. Slowly, but somewhat shortly. Yeah, it sounds about right. Probably says. Uh, I don't know, I, is it Roderick Mace? Is that a thing? Seems like it might be. Uh, oh, it is. Roderick Malice. Okay, I wasn't far off. I, I thought it was, but then I was like, wait, no, that, that can't be right. But yeah, no, Roderick Malice, that's, uh, that is, uh, that is familiar, actually. My memory is very gappy. <laughs> it's more, uh, random and there's visual parts to it. <laughs> but I said, I, I do have a very selective memory. Some things are very good, some things are just blank. I think it's the different types of memories. Some of them I'm good with, some of them I fail more than normal people do. It's uh, hard to explain in in, uh, in simple terms. All right, looking good. I guess we'll clear out. Yeah, I'm guessing it must be over the, like up there. Although, well, we can't see in the map yet. Probably have to be a bit closer. Uh, does this go anywhere? Is it no? Didn't think I split it off that far. But we are very close to a level, so I think considering... I don't know how long I've been recording for, probably like an hour and 20. It feels like about that long. Um, I can't quite... Oh wait, I do have a time there. Okay. Oh, hour and 15 apparently. Okay. That's pretty close. Um, sorry, I was just thinking while I was doing that. Yeah, I think we'll um, sort of clear out this area, get this level, and I think we'll probably wrap it up for this one. And um, we'll start off the next one heading that way and... Yeah, you know, doing the monastery and making our way down. I don't know how much progress we'll make. Um, it said, I, I'm not that it really matters. I mean, it takes as long as it takes sort of thing. I'm just uh, getting ahead of myself with curiosity on how long it'll actually take to get through there. Because um, I guess, like, finishing Act 1 will be sort of a... I don't know, I guess it'll be a bit of a measure towards how long and how many parts this may potentially be. Because I, I admittedly, I mean, it's been... You know, I've had a gap, which is an ideal, but I sort of jumped into this not really considering how long it could be. Um, you know, as long as I stick with it this time around, I think that's fine. You know, well, relatively speaking. Oh, okay, barracks is this way. Really? Hmm. Okay. Oh, right, I do remember the barracks... Okay, I remember the barracks, like, being inside, but I, I thought it was connected to the outer cloister. Like, I didn't know you actually had, like, a loading zone difference. Uh, that may just be in this, although, hmm, I just thought it was up, and that's it. Maybe it can be on any side, like, is that, uh, one of the things that are random in this? Um, uh, not sure. I mean, it obviously could be slightly different in this than, um, the original Diablo 2, but yeah, I, I thought it was straight up, though. Hmm, no matter. We just got our level, which is very nice. And I think, yeah, we will just do uh, straight to Skeleton Mastery. I don't think there's any reason not to. Just boom, boom, boom. Very good. Uh, we'll keep that other point. Um, still not too sure what I want to do there. Like, I don't think we're benefiting that much from uh, the intellect. And since the barracks is over that way, I guess we'll just clear this little area. Confirm actually what's going on here. And I have not been keeping up skeletons properly, have I? Alright, I assume that this is going to be nothing then. This will just be like to the same as to the right. Um, I assume so, yeah, okay. So maybe it can be any of these three that goes to the barracks. Um, like, I don't know. I mean, like, in Grim Dawn maybe it can be. I don't recall if that's the way in the original Diablo. I could have swore it was just, it was straight ahead. Um, so I could be mistaken on that though. My, my memory of this area is vivid, but not... As, you know, the logistic side of it less so, I suppose. But I, yeah, I thought it like went up and then you went into the barracks and it was like, um, yeah, the indoor area and it splintered off the rooms and you had like, you know, up here would be where the uh, butcher guy is. Is it a butcher or is he, I guess it's a blacksmith. Yeah, butcher's Tristram, but I, I don't know. 
Maybe this really reminds me of the... Yeah, because I think you have like a uh, smock and... I mean smock, is it? I don't think that's the correct word when you're talking about a blacksmith, but... Well, maybe. Blacksmith smock? No, I don't know. Smock makes you think of art or painting. Apron? Yeah, blacksmith apron. That would probably be the... Maybe? Hmm. Alright, let's just poke our heads in here. So I'm curious. Okay. Yeah, this orientation feels weird. I definitely feel like... Every time I had been in here, it was not, like, going downwards. That does feel a little strange, actually. I don't know, let me know if you you know on that. Like I said, I, I definitely wouldn't surprise if I'm mistaken on any of it, but... That definitely feels odd. That I definitely feel like it was always upright. Um, but yeah, not that it really matters. But I think that, yeah, that's going to do it for this one. We got our level, we got the uh, outer cloister cleared, and we're ready to head in. So, I think that would be a good way to start the next one. And I'm running all the way back here, even though I could use a portal, so doesn't really make a lot of sense, but that's fine. Let's head back to the rogue encampment. And, uh, yeah, I think that's probably going to do it. We have a... <laughs> oh, man, we got pretty full, so I'll, uh, I'll probably go ahead and I'll sell all the shit um, before the next one. Or maybe I'll start and then I'll cut selling it or something or other. I don't, I don't know. Um, we probably won't have a check through for any upgrades, but we won't do that now. I think that'll be a good... Uh, hello? Did you have something to say, Stay or...? Wild. Um... No, okay. Wait, Stay did you have new gossip, maybe? No? Hmm, okay. I don't know why it does that. I... Maybe just a bug? Do you have any... You green? No? Hmm. Okay, well... Oh, wait, we didn't, uh, we didn't get this, did we? Not that I assume we'll get much, but... Sure, why not? And... Yeah. Okay, well... Uh, if you made it this far, I thank you very much for watching. Um, yeah, it's been good to get back into it. Uh, I feel like this has been a little bit rambly and scattered, but hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully it's looking better. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, not really much more to say on it, I don't think. Just uh, good to get back into it. And Yeah, uh, let me know if you have any suggestions for anything relating to our skills or any of that stuff. Um, you know, anything at all, really. Um, let me know what you think, if the graphics look better than that. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I guess I just, uh, again, I thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, I so said I'll be trying to do it every other day, but don't, like, hold me to that. I'm not saying it definitively. Um, but I am going to try and get something like that going. Like, it may be sort of a rotation of, like, you know, Grimdor and Geneforge, something like that. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying more to keep, um, Geneforge every other day at the moment. Admittedly, it's, it's a higher priority than this, but I, I do want to keep this up on priority. Like, I'm... I'm really trying to improve my consistency with YouTube because I mean I've I've been consistent with uploading but I haven't held as much consistency with this series that I'm doing I feel like so I am trying to work on that um but yeah I'll probably ramble if I say anything more so I would just say I hope you're having a good day and I will see you in the next one bye bye